Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to Triple N Media I am Nick Nickam today we are going to look at uh, controls for Logitech Extreme 3D Pro controller or joystick for Microsoft Flight Simulator so once you load your program and you are in the main menu you look at the welcome screen and you go to options under options let's press control so press controls uh, it will bring us to logitech extreme 3d it also has a keyboard and mouse uh, i would recommend don't even waste your time working with keyboard and mouse because you're going to be really really disappointed this is a, the quickest way to get discouraged and and just leave the flight simulator i would say before you download the software make sure you have a joystick or a yoke whatever you can get hold of but now everything is so difficult to get so i had to buy this joystick and i love it and i'm going to walk you through what we need to do as far as the flight control is concerned in the flight control we are going to go to the primary control surfaces as you can see we have aileron axis we have elevator axis and we have rudder axis in order to understand this as to how it references with the actual plane while it is sitting on a tarmac or in the sky let's go back to the basic science uh, which you studied in uh, high school as you know we have the x axis which is the longitudinal axis we have the y axis which is the lateral axis by changing the y axis you can turn the plane and we have the z axis by shifting the z axis we can change the pitch of the plane so let's talk about like when i'm holding this one and when i pull back uh, the plane is going to lift that is the z axis or if i push it down it's going to go down and pick up speed and that is uh, related to the z axis when i turn this to the left side you have to do this gently when you turn this to the left side or to the right side it is working on the y axis and the z axis x axis is related to the longitudinal axis uh, which is like you have to rotate it like this way left or the right okay and let me see it's another picture i want to show you and here is just showing the same thing longitudinal axis lateral axis and vertical axis so whatever you studied in high school and physics is going to be extremely useful when you get your hands on one of these joysticks or yoke or anything that controls the plane okay let's get back to microsoft flight simulator when we are in this primary control surface if you look at it has sensitivity wherever you see sensitivity click on the sensitivity here it lists the joystick l axis x joystick axis y joystick axis z and slider anyway it's most important to make sure that the sensitivity is set to approximately minus 50 otherwise if the li line is straight up and down what's going to happen is every time you make a movement uh, you're going to see an extreme degree of a shift in the wings or the pitch as a result uh, the plane is going to be extremely unstable and that's what happens when these uh, controls are not tuned to get very smooth and gentle that also is it's like playing tennis your hands become more and more gentle and smooth as you practice and actually you see the plane from a third person point of view it makes a lot more sense let me explain another thing here before i come back to this one let's close this one and okay just watch me now when i'm moving this i am moving the aileron axis right but what's happening to the elevator axis 
elevator axis is also moving because the plane shakes and by your movement of the hand can unintentionally move the plane up or down. So I'll explain to you as how we can reduce that movement. So let's go back to the sensitivity. So what we need to do is we need to set this dead zone. Let me show you here. When I am moving this one, when I'm shaking my hand, nothing happens here. But look at this one, Z axis. See that is shaking. So how do we cut that shaking so that when the plane is moving and rattling, you want to do is uh, come down here and increase the dead zone. Watch, watch this, watch this line get flatter. You increase the dead zone to like uh, 10%. So what it did is uh, with little little movement. See now you're not now you're not seeing any movement here, even though I am shaking my hand. I don't know if you can see me, I can shake the, go all the way around and it doesn't do, but this is moving because the Y axis is, look at that, if you watch X axis is not moving and Z axis is not moving when I'm shaking this handle, but uh, you can see the Y axis is moving a little bit, so we need to fix that one too. It is at zero, so let's go to 10% here. So now we created a dead zone so that uh, even with slight movements and all these things, none of these are moving, which produces more stability to the plane. And when you really want to get a change, you have to go at least 10% before you can see a significant change in the movement of the wings uh, and the elevation pitch, etc. Uh, the second point I want to make is, if you see these lines, they are curved. There is a reason why they are curved. You don't want to have a linear relationship between joystick movement and the movement of the plane wings. This way, this way, or going up or down. Because uh, it creates sort of a very erratic, unpredictable movement. So initially you want the deflection to be less than like uh, one to one relationship and then as you go more and more further then it becomes uh, proportionally related but this is a good way to have a very smooth uh, turns and also very smooth elevation or going down options uh, by setting these uh, parameters. So it is extremely important when you are working with the Logitech 3D Extreme Pro joystick to make these uh, adjustments in sensitivity and when you are done you will be, if you see what I am doing now, I am pulling the yoke back and the only thing that is moving is uh, the elevator axis. So that is not moving. So when I move this to the left side, you can see the other two do not move. That means the other two areas, the plane is not changing the position. That is extremely important. Now, if I rotate this, like uh, this is the rudder control, this is to the left, and this is to the right, uh, nothing happens to the other two axes. So this is a sort of a physics and scientific uh, part of flying a plane in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. I hope this has been useful to you because this is one of the important things to have finer movements of uh, your intentions reflected on the plane's body as it is flying in air. Thank you so much for watching this presentation and we are going to put this into action in the next video when we actually take a plane out in the field and then try out these things. But here, diagrammatically, I have shown you how to minimize that shaking. See, I'm shaking my hand, nothing is happening. And that is extremely important because when the plane is landing, there's a lot of shake. When the plane is taking off, there is a lot of rattling. And you want to make sure your intentions are only reflected when there is a real uh, movement in the joystick. Thank you so much and please, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will see you next time.